The gravy, where are we going? Tampa Bay Comic Con. You excited? Yeah, buddy. How excited? Uh, like an eight. Eight out of a hundred? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I'm excited for you. Door. Oh, am I gonna have to deal with this all day? I'm supposed Road to do something, John. Trail, then use the left lane have a to gravy turn left day. Thomas Jr. Parkway. Where are we eating? Uh, green lemon. Are you excited? Yeah. What'd you get? Um. Uh, burrito. Breakfast burrito. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you excited to go? Yes. How is it? Good. Big bite. Let me see. Ah. Oh. Mm. Hey guys. This guy just gave his phone number to the waitress. I did not. He yes, wrote did. it. I No, it was on your receipt. So It wasn't in my handwriting. My handwriting is a lot better. Well, you tried your best, bud. All we have to do is wait now. Oh my God. I'll update you if anything happens. Right. We made it in. All right. Everybody, break. Right, right, uh, uh. Right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've made it. We're in the building. Are you excited? Yeah, buddy. Hey guys, we just got finished with the Tampa Bay Comic Con. Uh, overall, it was a pretty good experience. Um, the pops were We're overpriced. We came on Saturday, so it wasn't our first day. It wasn't the first day of the con. So all the good stuff I think was picked over. There was some good stuff, but it was just overpriced. Yeah, and everything else was really like, 20 30 dollars over like value PBG. yeah or funko app so we, we passed on a lot of stuff so that's why you didn't see a lot of footage of us in the thing and also the employees and like the staff didn't want you recording a lot like near the, he got two things signed which you guys will see yeah. later so they didn't want uh people filming or whatnot all right guys this is our friend What'd you get? I'm Brian, aka Beasley. Uh, took a photo with Ron Perlman. He's a really cool guy. Didn't smile much, but uh, he's still pretty awesome. And then I got this awesome print from Boxwood uh, Studios. Let me back up a little bit. There we are. Pretty cool. I like it. As I said earlier, Funkos were kind of slim, at least for me they were, so I, I didn't pick up anything, but. Uh, that's really about it. Just so, how was the overall experience? Did you enjoy yourself? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, would you go again? Yes. Awesome, I'm glad to hear it. All right, guys, next up, it's gonna be my haul. Uh, we're saving the main star for last. I know you guys love you some gravy. So we're saving his haul for last. Uh, first thing we got is this painting. It's Gear 4 Luffy. Absolutely love it, we saw it. At we saw it at MegaCon and uh, like a giant version that was like $300. It was really tempting to buy, but I saw this one and I said I couldn't pass it up again. Uh, Gravy actually bought this for me for my birthday. That's in uh, like in four days as of right now. So when you guys watch it, it'll probably be like three days. It's gonna be August 7th. Um, so this is from Gravy. Uh, next we have this print. It's Todoroki from My Hero. If you guys watch the show, he's got fire and ice powers. And you got Natsu and Grey from Fairy Tail, which have fire and ice powers and the splitting. It's super cool. Absolutely love it. I saw it and I was like, I need that. We saw this guy's work at Megacon, but we had spent too much money. Yeah. So we ended up, this is also from Gravy. And one last thing from Gravy. So to get the deal, Gravy need to get four prints. So I got this one as well. As you can see, it's a ton of Shonen characters, mostly from uh, Shonen Jump, but a few 
non shonen jump characters. Absolutely love it. Super cool. Gravy's got stuff on the back, so I like the collages. I haven't even really. I didn't okay, even we really can, we can look at it after the video, Gravy. Okay. Okay. All right. Now onto the stuff that I bought for myself. Oh, actually, so my girlfriend actually gave me twenty five dollars and was like, "Hey, if you see something that you think I'd like, grab it for me." So. I went ahead and got this. It's ten dollars. I went ahead and got it for her. She loves my hero. And last but definitely not least, there's a guy that we saw at MegaCon that does wood burning. And this was actually a piece that he did on a bigger scale. Um, but he also had this one. And I was really glad that I saw it when I walked by. Uh, this was like thirty-five dollars, so I went ahead and grabbed it. As you can see, it's post time skip Luffy. It, the wood burning just I love the background and it's so well done and the detail it's, it's very detailed the face like, looks perfect you catch Luffy's expression yeah so good so so good so that's what I got um, if you guys want to see the first painting or the wood burning guy I'm gonna try to link their stuff down below and like the little description like wood burning uh, gear for Luffy painting. I'm gonna try to add their Instagram and if they have a website or something So if you guys do like their artwork, please check them out Great guys. We got to sit and talk to them for a while Couldn't recommend their stuff anymore and they're based in Central Florida area Guys to get into gravy's last piece Be careful. We're gonna have to crack it open with this axe is the guy all right, so I'm doing it with one hand so I'm a little. Do you want me to do that? No, I got this. All right. Whew. All right. See that last thing? We gotta gotta crack that bad boy open. Hey guys, it's the Gravenator here. Gonna show off my haul from Tampa Bay Comic Con. Great con. We didn't get a lot of. I didn't get any pops this time. We got a lot of art though. Some really cool art, and I'm gonna show it off to you guys. And a couple of things signed. Oh. I forgot to show them my tick. Can you grab my tick real quick? Oh, oh yeah. So, Which? I bought this one for myself, so. I'll show it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it, so. Uh, oh, I almost forgot about my other thing back there, too. Yeah. So, it's from 2017 Summer Collection. It's a glow in the dark tick. I, I used to watch the uh, animated show a lot as a child, so. I used to have the regular tick, but I think I sold it when I was downsizing. No, so, you never had it. Oh yeah, no, I know. Yeah, you oh. talked about getting thought about it? buying it so much because that guy was going to be at Megacon, but then you never got it. Yeah. So, all right, Gravy, what's your first item, bud? Um, we'll start with this. Are you? Do you want to open it? No. Okay. It's the um, Big Bang um, San Diego Comic Con shirt with all the characters in the superhero costumes. Oh, I do have. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. Hold on, I'm trying to see which artist. That's the the prince. Oh, the prince? This is yeah. from the prince? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is for the prince. I'm going to try to add it down below. So, if you guys did like the prince that I have and that uh, gravy's going to be showing off up next, uh, check no, them out. No, wait. Yeah, that's... No, this time. is the guy that you're showing right now. Yeah. So it's not my prince. It's Gravy's prince that he's showing off right now that I got him for his birthday next month. So this that's the information for the guy that you're seeing the next four prints for. All right. Didn't want to clear... Made sure that I cleared that up. Don't want you guys getting confused and trying to buy from someone that isn't the right guy. All right. We all know how much I like the Ninja Turtles. First off, we got Raphael. Super cool. Oh, here, try to. There you go. Oh, right, right there. All right. I love how the weapons are down here and the the sewer, like manhole cover. I would get a tattoo like that. With of a manhole cover? No, the dark design. Oh, they meant like a manhole cover. I was like, buddy, strive for excellence, not manhole covers. But I guess you guys can see the theme here. So he. The Seven Fingered Man got me all four turtles because they had a deal on all four. Yep, all four with frames for 70. So 
super. It was a great deal. I, I felt like I couldn't pass it up for this guy and he for his birthday. Him. And the artist signed him. So. Oh, he put cardboard in. Yeah, he put cardboard to separate them. We got Mikey. Even with the pizza. Oh yeah, wait, wait, in wait, the mouth. You gotta. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like show all the details in it. Because there's a lot of detail in this, so I want to make sure that I, I, I do it justice. And as you guys can see, we are in a uh, parking garage, so excuse the audio if it's a little off. We're not in our normal setting. We're in a gosh darn parking garage. Uh, so we got one more of the Ninja Turtles, correct, bud? Yep, and I'm sure you can guess which one it is. Donatello. There you Donatello go. is absolutely my favorite. Super cool. Yep. All right. Let's let's put those back in there. Yeah. I'm help trying to help you out a little bit. There we go. Slide that back in there, bud. All right. And the guy gave us a, a box to to put them in. And he separated them with cardboard so we're able to get them home safely. And then watch Gravy struggle on trying to find a place to put them. But you don't have to put them all back. Uh, I thought there was another piece of carpet. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll try to edit this stuff out. I'll try to do it when I go home. Okay. And then you Hit, already, turn, turn you all, all. You guys all. already saw the Seven Finger Band's other print. So we all know how much I like Dragon Ball. Hey, hey, stop. All the different all right. forms. Stop of moving Goku. it so much, bud. Okay, thank you. Yep, all the forms from base Goku all the way up to Ultra Instinct. Super cool. And I think this, an upcoming one, I think is Gravy's favorite. So then we got the um, Dragon Ball, but they're Venomized versions. Yep, pretty much the main villains, but Venomized. Oh, that's, that's Broly. We got Cell, Frieza, Maj Majin Buu, and Majin Vegeta. Yep, and as you guys know, two of Gra Gravy's biggest collections are Dragon Ball and Venom. Um, dude, my Overwatch and Kingdom Hearts are... They're, they're big, but I think those are the two ones that you, like, seek out the most pops for. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, oh, okay. Okay, now we're on to the, the big boy stuff, the stuff that he's the most excited for. So, I got something for my brother, because he wasn't able to come. And it's the Pink Power Ranger Pop signed by Amy Jo Johnson, a.k.a. Kimberly, from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, and it's the, it's the Hot Topic one. Which, which pop is that? It's the metallic. Metallic one? Yeah. There you go. Show you guys some, some of the shimmer right there. So, that's now super cool. Boy. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. Look at Gravy's shirt. All right, that's the hint. You got the Yondu sign Get it. by go. Michael Rooker. Rooker? Rooker. 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 And he wrote, it's the, it's the Mary Poppins one with the Yaka arrow. So he wrote, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yeah, see, it turn around on the back so people, it's, it's that Yondu. It's the, uh, Convention, the one, yeah, the one I think 2018, yeah, spring convention. So, ECC, ECC. yeah, so it show, show it off a little bit more. There you go. So, I'm gravy trying to hold the bottom, gravy's a little sad because he didn't get to choose the like type of right the color of the pen before I could. I started to tell him and he had already started, yeah, so. He'd already started with the goal, so Gray was just like, whatever. Because he was super talkative. I know, you were over there giggling like a school child. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Thanks for watching, and have a gravy day. All right, well, I mean, I'm just gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna do our normal outro, so if okay. you, yeah. Hey guys, we for hey guys, we forgot to show you what Gravy did to his head for the convention. Boom. Got, you got to stand up straight. There you go. 
Here, there you go. Got that Funko logo in the back of his head. There we go. Look at that. Ah. All right, guys. There you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, we really appreciate it. Hopefully, when we go to conventions from now on, we're able to get a little more footage inside the convention. But it was just a lot of people. It was a lot of people, a lot of noise. It was just kind of weird. And we're just like filming booths at that point. There wasn't really any like uh, anime cosplay get togethers or anything. It was just like booths. So um, we just kind of showed you the highlights of the stuff that we bought. So. Remember to hit that like button. It's greatly appreciated. If you guys want to see us go to more conventions, let us know in the comments. Um, we're thinking about possibly going to uh, Florida Supercon. Maybe. It's in Miami. We'll see. Um, and we're also talking about the Daytona. Daytona Comic Con. No, yeah, I think that one's I think it's in like November. November or something like that. Something. We're talking about those. Um, but we got to find somebody to go with us to drive. We're looking at we're looking at Brian. Hi, Brian. Beasley. Hi. Uh, um, but we would have to get a hotel for Supercon. Probably. Or an Airbnb or something. Something. But uh, remember to subscribe because we're hitting you guys' faces with three videos every week. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a gravy day. I'm, I'm surprised you kept your shirt on. It's fucking hot. It almost came off. Almost. I'm glad it didn't, though, bud. Guys, comment down below if you want Gravy to go shirtless in a video. They've already said they wanted it.